some of my favorite outfits from Storyline. What do you think of them? Well, because I really love Storyline, I think these are really terrific outfits. And I think our model did a great job when they did the photo shoot. So I would like to know how to uh, talk like a fashionista, somebody who actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to talking about clothes. Because you know what? Monotone and monochromatic, I didn't know the difference between those. So let's talk about this. Yeah. So the gal on the left is the same as the gal in the middle, I guess. But the gal on the left is wearing a monotone outfit. And what the word monotone means, if you want to sound like you really understand fashion, is an outfit that's all the same color. And this is a great trick. If you're getting up late in the morning and you haven't really figured out what you're going to wear, just put on a monotone outfit and you can't go wrong. Get a statement necklace get a pop of color with a bag, whatever, but that's, that's monotone dressing. Monochromatic oh, sounds the same. And I bet I have used this word incorrectly once in a while, but yep. really it's choosing the same tone of a color. And so in this case, it's a deep gray with black, but it could be two shades of taupe. It could be two shades of green. It could be two shades, two shades of orange. And it's going to give you that same, um, flattering look it's going to keep your eye all moving up and down but it's just got a little bit more interest because the two colors are different have you ever tried that I have and you know the other thing that I have found um and I think it's more monotone than monochromatic but what about when you change out the texture a little bit what about when you wear um a suede vest or a suede sweater or something like that so you're still in all black so would that be monotone or monochromatic I think it would be dependent upon how that sh that second shade appeared with the first. Yep. Yeah. But either one, they're both professional looking. They're easy. You always look classy. Both of those. Yep. yep. And then on the right, she's she's showing color blocking. And I bet you have worn that, like that before. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I wear this kind of look a lot. Yes. Yep. And color blocking means to pick two solid colors and wear them. Uh, against each other it's often it, originally it was about two colors that were opposite each other on the color wheel but I think it's evolved to any two colors typically a vibrant color for sure and often a neutral with that vibrant I know um, with Ruby Ribbon we used to have the best color block dress and I sold it like crazy it was gray and black solid stripe or you often see um, weather anchors do color blocking in their outfits oh you're right you do yeah. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands. The gal on the left is wearing the storyline flirty skirt with a turnaround top. Yep. The gal in the middle, the middle one is the crop leggings with our darling top. And it's hard to tell that print, but that's a gal in a cape. And she's just got this real fun print, which happens to be the print of our shadow print. And then the gal on the right has our hero jacket together with our perfect pant. And she color blocked with the Key Largo blue underneath it. You could put pink, yellow, all kinds of different things. But those are three really great ways to dress. They're simple. They look great on everybody. Yep. And then I have one more that I thought we'd look at today. And this is column dressing. And this means that your top and bottom are the same color. And then you layer with a contrasting color. And Or you could do a dress or a jumpsuit as the column. And what that's giving you is a super long, lean line with this, the monotone look as the base color. And then when you throw on the bright color, that becomes a column dressing instead. And usually that bright layer is also helping to give you, again, that long, lean look. And you know what's interesting? All she'd have to do is flip that wrap cardigan to black, flip the tunic to blue, and she would be in color block. Exactly. You're so there's just different ways of playing with color. Yep. So these are great ways to help you look good and feel good. So you do good.